serving on the Zenith board. And I want to thank you all for coming out tonight for day three of our festival. Um, a huge shout out to Max Wellman and Noche for hosting us tonight. We had a great family meeting and really excited to be here. One thing, if you'll notice on your table, we have programs for you. We would love if you took a moment to fill out this little thing right here and turn it into us at the end. This helps us know how you've heard about us and helps us grow for the future so we know how to reach more people. Um, if you haven't heard about becoming a donor or gotten one of our really snazzy t-shirts, you can see us back at the host stand anytime tonight. Um, but again, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting chamber music of all kinds in our community. Um, I want to welcome to the stage Damani Phillips and his quartet, and I really hope you enjoy tonight's music.
Mr. Tanner Taylor. Back here holding down the bottom, and from what I understand, is uh, one of those people who's uh, standing the divide, crossing and playing as a lot of the class groups you guys have played over the course of the week, and down to the dollars, magically up here, ripping on the base of the jazz side of things. Um, an exceptional player and a proper state of the state with him. Please uh, welcome Mr. Steve Charleston. And last but most certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this gentleman we've got to play together a few times and it's been funner and funner each uh, time we've had a chance to interact. And so this seems to be a, a time that is apropos for us to, uh, to do it again. So please show your appreciation for Mr. Nick Adelio on the drums. So um, today's lineup of uh, tunes will be a mixture of tunes that you may recognize and tunes that uh, are original compositions. Uh, that was a tune that we just played by a uh, late great uh, guitarist, Wes Montgomery. That was his tune that titled Road Song. And so the next one we're gonna do for you is uh, an original tune that I wrote. Um, that's about maybe three years old now, released on an album in 2015 called Duality. Um, and I've been wrestling with it, trying to play it ever since. It's one thing when you write a tune, but it's a whole different kind of words where you have to actually play your own song, which always raises a challenge. Um, but there's that relationship between composition and performance that you don't get to see all the often on the classical side of things. So the jazz world, the two are literally out of the hip. And so um, you get a chance to see me struggle with my own tune right here in front of people. But Jazz music in its very best is when we are at our most vulnerable. So while I hope that I do this justice, on the other hand, if I don't, that excitement, that possibility is what gives it its, its, its soul, its heartbeat. So I'm more than willing to give it a go here for you. This is my tune entitled Fulman Canova. Thank you. 
Where I'm from, no self-respecting show is self-respecting if there's not a little, a little pinch of that dirty blues in the show. This is important. This is, this is what transcends all the fancy chord changes. It gets down to the, the, the meat, potatoes, the dirt, the grits, the gravy of it all, the, which is essentially the glue that holds jazz music all together. And so, um, in honor of uh, the people who taught me in the great city of Detroit and um, the fact that I would be able to forgive myself if we didn't include it, we had to uh, oblige the, the, the blues gods and make sure that there was one in the show. So, this is a tune written by uh, Bobby Timmons. Bobby Timmons. Ah, got it right. Bobby Timmons, entitled. <laughs> No, 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 no,
Uh, circulating amongst the free folks uh, 
of the world, but uh, for whatever reason, folks tend or choose not to do. So this is one of them. Uh, this is, uh, I believe it was his arrangement of the tune, Poor Butterfly. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Oh, 